Hey guys, welcome to a week in my life. There's been so much going on, so I guess it's time for a little bit of a life update. I am no longer nomading. I found an apartment in Vancouver, BC. It's been a really crazy time for me, work-wise, with my personal life and everything. I was just back in Sault Ste. Marie with my family because my dad just had heart surgery. I landed my biggest client to date, which I'm super excited about. So I've been smoked with work, with personal things. I broke my foot last month. There was a death in the family. I was apartment hunting, but yeah, I finally found a spot that I can call home. I still have suitcases and mess everywhere in that corner. Oh yeah. But despite moving, I have a busy week and it's an exciting week. I'm gonna be doing a couple fun little personal things. I have some little appointments to give myself a little bit of a glow up. It's been a tough time, so I really just wanna like pamper myself this week. I have a lot going on with clients with my boutique social media agency, Luso Social. I have some influencer events, so I figured I'll bring you along with me. As for Monday, this is kind of the situation. Today's my only day. I don't actually have to go anywhere and do anything, so I'm working from home. I just ordered groceries, so I wanna like cook, continue unpacking. My friend Becca's gonna come over after work. But yeah, today's just like an at-home day, so we'll probably touch base tomorrow when there's just a little, a little bit more excitement happening. So we'll see. Good morning, it's Tuesday, and I'm heading downtown to Black Goat Cashmere, which is one of my clients, and we're gonna pick some outfits for a photo shoot we are doing next Monday. And then I am off to get some, a little hair makeover. I went brunette after 12 years of blonde in January 2020, right before the pandemic. And today's the day I'm gonna sprinkle back a little bit of blonde. I'm very excited, because I don't know, I just, I love blonde for summer, so. And Life in Color, the salon I go to, Amazing. We just quickly styled like 20 outfits. Now it's time to get my hair done. New hair. Who dis? So we added in some blonde to my hair. A little bit lighter for spring, summer. Very happy with it. If you're interested in a new salon or hairstylist in Vancouver, I will leave the info here. Life in color always kills it. And now I am heading to my new gym for an orientation to get my like fob and they're gonna show me around, etc. Kind of interested in getting a personal trainer. We'll see since my new apartment is like very affordable. I figured I could throw some money into that, but let's go check it out. All right, we're back from the gym. I just took some videos of the products that Life in Color sent me home with today. We have the K18, which is super hot right now. This Devina's hair oil, which is I'll say it right here, the best hair oil I've ever tried in my life. This Kevin Murphy Blow Dry Ever Smooth, which has heat, ac heat activated style extender and also heat protectant. And then she also hooked it up with this Cool Wind pH Perfect Air Dry Cream. She said this is a really good cream because I don't use hot tools on my hair very often in the summer. so. Very excited to try all this. She did use the K18 on my hair today, and it feels very soft. So now I'm home for the night. I'm gonna edit that reel, post it, finish up the last bit of work I need to do for the day. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to today since I was in the salon. So I'm gonna wash off my makeup and do a face mask, and honestly, just like sit in bed, eat a salad, and go to bed. And after that gym orientation, I'm like, ready to get back to the gym so i might go tomorrow morning but we'll see i also have a natural path appointment at 10 a.m good morning i just have my coffee and a little dairy free yogurt bowl with berries and bananas i've been loving in the mornings 
I'm just gonna do my journaling. I have a five minute journal as well as the productivity planner and then just a normal notes pad. Since I just moved into my new apartment, I just wanna get back into my routine. We have this, I'm gonna get ready quickly and I'm heading to a naturopath appointment today. So glow up, but on the inside. I just, I really don't trust doctors. I don't trust doctors anymore and I do prefer naturopaths, so I'm trying a new one. So we'll see how it goes. I just spent $600 on a naturopath. Yes, I did. But you know what, honestly, like the last time I went to a walk-in, I went, took time out of my schedule, got blood work done, never heard from them. Literally got ghosted. So I'm happy to pay for service when you're actually getting the proper service. They put me on this PCOS supplement as well as quercetin. So let's see what happens. I'm excited to just have someone like actually invested in wanting to help versus stupid doctors just being like, go on birth control, here's a steroid cream, here's this pill, here's that pill. So fingers crossed. This isn't my first naturopath, but when I went to a naturopath, it just got way too expensive for what I was making at the time and now I'm making more money. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. If you gotta pay to get the proper care, I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna pay for it, baby. But now I am just home. I'm gonna make some quinoa vegan mac and cheese and get some work done. Ooh, yummy. I never eat lunches like this. It's usually like something fresh. I just moved in the grocery, so quinoa mac and cheese with some crushed chili flakes. It is. Okay, reluctantly got some work done this afternoon. I was tired. I was so badly wanting to take a nap, but I did not. Um, but now it's time to get ready for tonight's event. We're going to Bulletproof Cosmetics launch. It's a launch party for this new cosmetics brand, and they're hosting at Mine and Yours, which is like a design it, designer, co designer consignment store. And we're also, it's also, also, oh my god, it's also hosted by Olay Cocktails, which is like this tequila soda cocktail. Hi, for Lindsay. Stephen's in Toronto, so I had a bunch of messages from him because we soft launched our podcast. We finally have decided to dive in and start our podcast. By the time it's up, it'll be published. It's called the No Shame Podcast. And basically, we want to have interviewees come in from all sorts of different industries. And we're going to ask the, the dumb questions that everyone kind of wants to know. And the whole thing is there's no shame around no, not knowing. So we're going to be like learning with our listeners. And then we'll also do some like fun episodes, just him and I about dating and whatnot. But yeah, that's exciting. And then after that, I had a phone call with one of my clients and part of my glow up this week, I just did like a big shower, shaved everything, moisturized my skin head to toe, did like a nice long skincare routine. Now I'm gonna get ready because I am going to a behind the scenes photo shoot for one of my new clients. I'm gonna meet the team and then I'm going to a different client studio to film some content for her May calendar. So we're kind of busy. And then after work today, I'm thinking I might get my nails done as part of my glow up or go to the gym because I haven't been yet. And we're like halfway through the month and I haven't used the membership. So I was out of town for one week, but this week's been busy as you guys can see. But um, yeah, last night's event also was so cute. We went to the Bulletproof Cosmetics launch and the idea behind the Bulletproof is uh, they raise funds for women who experience domestic violence. So they raise proceeds for that, which is amazing. It was very busy. I bumped into so many people and I brought a new friend with me. And one thing I will say about the influencer community in Vancouver is like, there's kind of like this stigma that maybe influencers are like high maintenance and like not nice or catty. And it's the polar opposite. Like 
The influencers in Vancouver are so kind and so nice. It's almost like this sisterhood we have of like, we're all like fearless and putting our lives online and we all just like cheer each other on. So I was excited to see who I'd bump into and I bumped into a whole bunch of girls that I haven't seen in a while. So it was so nice. But yeah, thought I'd just throw that note in there. But let's go get ready. This is that bulletproof lipstick I got in a goodie bag. This is pretty like nudie pink. Oh, it honestly like matches my natural lips. It's a bit pinky actually, but it's really pretty for spring and the formula is very buttery. Very into it. Good morning, it's Friday. And yesterday was a very busy one. As you saw, I went to Black Goat cashmere and did some behind the scenes filming as well as I met the whole team and had lunch with them which was lovely. Went to film with another client. I was there for six hours so it was a really long one. Had some other things to do. So yesterday there was really no glow up piece but Friday we're starting strong with some Botox. My forehead has had no Botox for over a year and the wrinkles are coming in, so I'm going to visit the skin girls in Vancouver who are my favorite. I'm loyal to them. So, going in for some Botox shortly, and then I'm filming with another client, Ashley, who we're just gonna do some personal content, which is gonna be fun. It's a fun afternoon girls' day. And then, yeah, to wrap up our glow up week, I really wanna get my nails done at the very least. So, I have to get my hair, nails, Botox naturopath. I feel like that's a really good roundup for a glow up week. Whether I get to get my nails done tonight or tomorrow on Saturday, I don't know. But I also have a girlfriend to see. Because I was digital nomading, I'm trying to fit in all of my clients, my social life, my friends, all in a very compact space. So it's been busy. But let's go get some Botox. Botox complete. We actually did Botox under my eyes because I have some fine lines going on, which hurt a little bit more than I'm used to. And this appointment also hurt my wallet a little bit more than I'm used to. With the natural path, which was over $600, it was almost $700 actually. A big tip to a hair salon, which they do work with me, so I get the service actually free, but I always give her a nice tip because she's doing my hair all day. And then now the Botox. I'm over $1,200 this week on beauty services, but I never do this, and I think I'm worth it, so. Just heading to a coffee shop to get some work done before I meet up with Ashley to film some, woo, IG content. about to go film some of her personal content. Hi. She brought all the handbags. Yeah, it is a, it is a handbag day. <laughs> We're doing sure. three outfits, so it should be really fun. good for vlogging today but to finish off our glow up week i'm going to get a mani pedi my natural nails are pretty yucky and god bless whoever does my toes because i haven't had a pedicure since january in tulum and that was we're mid mid may so that was a while ago but to round it off we just gotta get the nails done right so i'm gonna go get some like little short nails just do some gel and we'll have some Botox. Like look how good my Botox is settling in. Botox, new hair, which doesn't look very cute right now, but spruced up. Okay, no regrets on that Manny Petty. I got just like a very subtle nude on my fingers and toes, but they gave me the best foot massage. And I picked up some sushi for dinner. And that is me wrapping up my glow up week. You watched all the way through, thank you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on socials. I'll put them in the corner. Bye.